Happy Tuesday beautiful people. Welcome to this week's vlog. Guess what day it is? It is wedding dress trying on day. Is there a more nifty way to say that? I don't know but today I am trying on my wedding dress. I picked this dress back in November um, so it's it's been paid for, I had my measurements done, the actual dress has come into the store, I need to try it on and take it away and it's going to be stored at mother's house. But I'm nervous, like I have this awful feeling like what if I don't like it anymore? Do you know what I mean? It's been so long and I've seen so many dresses since, I'm like have I made the right choice? So I'm praying because when I put the dress on last time it felt good. So I'm really praying I get that feeling again. And I'm like, yes. It's still the one I run to. The only one I long. I don't know the words. Um, let's hope it's still the one. Nevertheless, I can't go to a wedding dress fitting looking like this. Um, typically, we had a really bad night. Why well, say that? We had a bad evening with Gigi last night. She is snotty to the hills let me tell you that her nose is running faster than Usain Bolt all right so she basically didn't go to bed until about 11 p.m last night and we thought this is it it's gonna be up all night but she didn't she was only up twice half one and five and then she slept until 10 to 8 and she's never done that in her tiny little life so and everyone's coming over at nine o'clock which is in 45 minutes time so I need to hoppity hop in the shower very quickly and make myself look, I want to feel nice today because I don't want to feel gross in my wedding dress. All right, so that's what's happening at the start of this week's vlog. Um, I hope you're all well. Thanks for joining again. That's my introduction. Well, let's go say yes to the dress again, hopefully. You, Goldie George, are a mood. Do you know that? Mood. I've done it guys. I've made the effort. I washed, put a little gentle curl in just so that I look half human and acceptable. <sighs> when the dress goes on. Obviously, I'm not going to actually show you my dress. Sorry about that. Imagine if I did. Imagine if I was like, guys, I'm going to show you my dress, but can you do me a favour? Just don't, just don't show Ian. Just like, don't screenshot anything. Don't send it. <laughs> but told the world. Mm. Let's not risk that. Wish me luck that I still like the dress. it is the next day um but we still had guests yesterday um after the dress fit in which i'll tell you about in a minute so we enjoyed the rest of the time with the family they left this morning and um i had a really terrible night with goldie last night actually it's genuinely like the worst night we've had um not so much i mean she's very bunged up and she's quite snotty at the moment but it's not so much that she was like hysterical or inconsolable she just didn't didn't did not want to sleep she just wanted to party um and every time you put her down she would cry and i couldn't let her just cry it out because we had guests and we were staying in the nursery with, with her ian came in from work it was all just i ended up coming downstairs with her which of course well, i said i'd never do but i mean she's not she's too young to form bad habits really but anyway so i had an awful night's sleep absolutely shattered but let me tell you very quickly about the wedding dress fitting i was really quite nervous about it i don't know what i said in the last clip but it was quite a while ago and you just think would i still like it anyway went to the fitting i had all my gals there um minus lauren and luckily i was still absolutely over the moon with it the only problem with it is, and it's fine, because obviously that's where alterations come in, but it's literally still two inches too big. I, I think I was three months postpartum when I first went and had my measurements done. Um, so I knew I was going to lose a little bit of baby weight, but yeah, I think I've lost a little bit more than expected. 
Good old breastfeeding. Um, so it needs a lot of alteration. So it didn't feel amazing. I like the look of it, but it didn't feel great because it wasn't like, huh! do you know what I mean? Um, but I am trusting the process. Um, it went really cute with the shoes and the veil. I took those um, to try on the whole package. Mum is now in control of the dress. She's taken it home and she is currently storing it and I think she's absolutely shitting a brick about it, uh, which is funny. And then we got another, um, so we've got the dress alteration fitting in, in October, which feels ages away, but I just know that that's going to come around in a flash. Um, and then there's another final fitting at the start of December, just to make sure that the alterations are correct. Yeah, so there's still a couple more appointments and it has given me that little like wedding buzz as well because I think anyone planning a wedding or anyone who has planned a wedding, it comes in like ebbs and flows, doesn't it? Like you get obsessed with it sometimes um, and then other times you're like, mm, I haven't done anything in ages. Sometimes I feel like I'm organized and then other minutes I'm like, oh my God, I haven't even looked into that. Like I haven't even looked into our wedding rings at all yet, really. I might do that later. Um, story of my life. But it did feel magical putting that dress on and just, you know, getting back in that wedding mood. So, is baby awake? Princess Goldie is awake. Aww. I woke up and she was just blowing bubbles at me. Like, Prinny! Prinny, <laughs> are you awake? Hi, darling. Where's Mama? Hi, Pickle. Where's Mama? Where's Mama? Where's Mama? Where's Mama? Sausage. Are you tired from all your partying last night? I'm not tired, Mummy. I'm gonna do it all again. Oh. You want booby? I cannot believe what I am witnessing right now. I must seriously love you yeah i don't know if i can turn the camera around you do ian's toenail is falling off well it's basically unattached but for probably about what oh, 15 years maybe and he's basically like it's not even attached it's to not like even attached skin. and oh my god my legs are going funny he's um got the nail clippers on it to trim it right down because it's literally like just lifting. This is the big toe as well. It looks horrendous. Like do you want to see? I don't. Do you know what? I actually don't even know if that's like good for you or not. I said you needed like professional. It looks like just a bald man's head now. Looks <laughs> like a really old man, just with a bald head. Okay. I mean, it looks better than what it did. You've got a bald, big toe. Literally a bald, big toe. I, I feel like you need to seek professional help with oh. that. Because it's attached at the bottom, so the whole thing isn't going to come off. I'm literally going to faint and be sick and I don't know which one first. Well, Guys, the wedding's off. That helps him get my money back. <laughs> I just think I've got... <gasps> oh! No! <laughs> oh, no. I put that out so it wouldn't go on the floor or anything. <laughs> what are you touching that for? I think the bit of kitchen towel that had all his toenail clippings on it come all over the floor. No. Oh, oh, I thought you were showing my big manto there. Look how horrendous that is. Oh my god, I literally need to like Look disinfectant at it. the floor. Look at it. I can't zoom in. It's not fair on the people. I don't even know why I'm vlogging this. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get flung out with a toenail. You need to like literally hoover, mop, and all sorts after this. Look at your bald man toe. Oh, I know, yeah, it's minging, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna stop vlogging and go and be sick. Guys, it has arrived, and this has majorly cheered me up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ignore the state of me, we're gonna ignore Goldie playing in the background because she slept for five minutes 
and we're going to ignore the dead daffodils on the windowsill. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to open up this mother effing parcel. So friends, please let me in. I've got hiccups. I've got hiccups. She's playing with her toys, which is extremely annoying. But we're gonna get through this. Please let me introduce to you our brand new Avanort Sky 2.0 in pink. Hiccup. I can't believe I'm saying this, but lovely Gabby at Simply Safe Car Seats kindly gifted us this incredible car seat after I mentioned it on um, socials. This was the one I had my eye on anyway. And then I spoke to her to make sure that it was the right one for our car, for our babe, etc. So this will now last until Goldie is around 25 kilograms or 125 centimeters. That kind of ballpark, which going on her current centiles should be around six years and nine months, roughly, which is absolutely incredible. And that's why I went for pink, because this is going to be her seat for a, for a long time. The girl deserves pink. I'm going to fit it in the car tomorrow morning because um, I can't be asked to do it now. And it's, there's no isofix, but it's got tethers. So it tethers to the, um, underneath the railings of the front pa passenger seat. Okay, which I've not done before. That's a whole a whole thing. So I need to figure that out. Um, but this is the bad boy. It's got, let me loosen the straps. Oh, it just looks so snugly and secure and safe. I just, I adore, I adore it already. Let me undo this. So it's got various like different inserts. So it's got like an inside padding, right? Now for newborns, you need like the wedge that goes underneath their bum. There's these two discs that bring the padding closer to their shoulders. And there's also a headrest padding which comes off, right? So I'll take that off for now. Insert out, discs out. Now I need to like, I need to chat to Gabby and like get, get Goldie properly fitted because I'm not actually sure. I'm assuming that is how she will fit in um, for a little while longer, but I'll obviously get her kind of like professionally fitted. Um, and then this comes out, this centerpiece comes out as well when obviously babe gets a bit older. The head, um, the headrest comes all the way up. So although it looks, <laughs> it looks really small now and you're like, how on earth does like a six year old fit in that? Obviously these bits come out and um, these bits come out, headrest goes all the way up. But of all the extended rear face, facing car seats as well, this one is the most compact. So I cannot wait to fit it in the car and see how much room I've got in the front passenger seat as well. Should we put you in? Right. This Goldie girl is gonna be your new car seat, bum to buckle. I know, oh, you look so snuggly already. I might need to bring that headrest down a little bit. Let's pop you in here. Please do not have a poo explosion, okay? In this moment in time, because we've only just got this. All right, so let's um, tighten it. Mind your handy pandy. Oh yeah. And because it's got the tilt on it, like she's lifting her head up at the moment, but she's not flop flopping forward. Like if she falls asleep, her head won't flop forward. Oh my God. She's actually lying down flatter than our current car seat, which was meant to be a lie flat one. Wild. Are you cozy in there? Is that funny? In there. Oh, there's a lovely label here as well, which is not meant to be for playing, but I'm sure she will. Oh, you look snuggly buggly. Look at you! You're actually matching your big, big girl car seat. 
I need to get you in the car. Test this bad boy out. Yeah. <laughs> the absolute state of it. She kind of won't let me feed her anymore, which obviously I could force her to let me feed her, but I kind of don't want to. Like, I want her to be independent and grab the spoon and put the spoon in her mouth. But oh my God, how painful is it with yogurt? She's got more under her 10 chins than she has in her belly. She's done such a terrible job. <laughs> Was daddy clapping you and telling you your shit? Such a terrible <laughs> job. Give us some more, daddy. It's just literally yogurt and strawberries. It's not very exciting. Baba, Goldie, what's this? Shh. No, good girl. No, good girl. Yeah, you take it, you take it. What do you do with it? What do you do with it? Yeah. I good mean, girl. Good girl. Why do they put the spoon in like well, the wrong way? Amazing. Must be nice on her gums, to be fair. Oh, is that nice? <laughs> Are you a beautiful girl? Is that nice? Oh, Goldie girl. You kill me. My booty. Ian's got a day off, which is really nice. We've got another long weekend. Um, and we haven't really got any plans. We're seeing some friends tomorrow, which would be really nice. But other than that... We wanted to go for a massive long walk. Yeah, we want to do that. I feel like as well, once we tell everyone our big news, that'll yeah. be it. As in, it'll be all systems go. And we'll have lots to do. Have you guessed yet? Um, I need to put the car seat as well. I wouldn't have guessed. I don't think. Do you not think? No. I reckon a few people will guess. Right, come on, we've got so much to do. Guys, welcome to the first ever voiceover on my vlog. Please excuse the awful bloody quality. I've got two external microphones, yet none of them want to connect to my Mac, so that's just wonderful. Somebody help me. Anyway, this is me fitting the car seat, obviously. It's got an extendable leg, it's not on an Isofix base, it's belted in, and then it's got these two tethers, which are basically just seat belts, and they loop underneath the railings of the front passenger seat, and then they hook on underneath the car seat with metal hooks. Um, really, really simple, honestly, it's not complicated, guys. Please do not take this video, though, as a professional tutorial, because that, it is not, all right? Um, I'm just literally showing you how simple it is. Um, once the tethers are in, then you pop your own seatbelt underneath. It, it hooks under really, really easy through the loops. This was the only bit that I found a little bit tricky. You have to get your full-on body weight in. Go on, son, get involved. And then this bit, my buckle was a little bit high, so it was a little bit pernickety, but eventually I got the green clip to cross over and to click in nice and strong. Cool on. There we have it. And then you do the same the other side as well. Then you basically tighten the tethers. So you just pull down on them and there's a green indicator on the leg so you know when you've done it tight enough. Really is that simple. And it stays like that. You don't have to fanny around. You don't have to take it in and out. Once it's in, it's bloody in. Just have to have a little check of the other sides and I am happy. And she's in. It's, look, absolutely solid solid as a rock and you don't have to like fanny around with the seat belt every time but it's also really easy to move it into another car if you need to i love the fact that it hasn't got an isofix i really liked the isofix bases before but because of the convenience of obviously getting it out and in but to be i mean this is obviously fixed now but this is just so much more solid i can't wait to put her in it now i'll put her in it in a minute Thank you so much, Simply Safe Car Seats. You are angels. Do you put her in it? Okay. <laughs> She's not used to like leaning back and chill. Super safe in there. So super safe. Mwah. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Uh, 
Oh, she's so looks, much more sturdy, isn't she it? She looks such a big girl in it. I know. She, look, she instantly is. looks about. You can be newborn in that. It's from 40 centimetres. So, yeah, I just want to say one final massive thank you to Simply Safe Car Seats. Uh, I highly recommend them if you are wanting a new car seat. Um, it's not just about the recommendation as well, it's the aftercare. Like, you can message them and send them pictures or videos if you're unsure of how you've fit your car seat and how your babe fits in their car seat etc oh we must be moving anyone else's babe doesn't like being standstill in the car um and yes and i also really really recommend the car safety car seat safety uk facebook group as well which is where i originally found them um amazing support i feel so much less anxious now and um and she killed as hell in it. having well I am celebrating with white chocolate buttons with shit white chocolate buttons yeah they're just the Audi ones but it's finally time to tell you what our news what we're celebrating what is it I don't know tell me can you believe I can't believe it's happening it's not even that big. I think it's quite big. It is, it's not big for anyone else, but it's big for us. Yeah. Three weeks tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday, we're moving house. Belting, end of story. Oh my God. I cannot believe it. Like, the thought, I'm obviously so excited, but the thought of packing with a seven-month-old... <laughs> Whilst you're working full time, in three weeks, is not the one. But it's going to be so worth it. So, I can't believe it. Obviously, we're still renting. Otherwise, it wouldn't happen all this quickly. Um, but that's fine. We have found a beautiful... But we like renting. We like renting. I think people, for me and you, at this moment in time of our lives... We don't have a choice. Well, no, it's not even that. Like... I like the flexibility. I like of the renting. flexibility and the freedom. Because basically, what happened was Ian came to me about. <laughs> it, it was it about three weeks it ago. It was not he at all. Came lying in. Lies. I mean, you guys know now all that we lies. look on Right Move all the time. Like we're we're just look at nosy right. parkers. You look at Right Move. All you too. came in about three weeks ago <laughs> and was like, "Babe, the no. house across the road is up for rent. That's like bigger than ours." Oh, that was ages ago. Yeah. Which obviously like planted a little seed in your head, and no, then you wasn't. started look. No. Oh, the no, I was, in no. denial. My words were obviously I liked the house. I like loads of houses, but I said let's wait until the wedding because one, I need to get back to work, and two, we have a wedding and a honeymoon to pay for. Let's after the wedding because I said it will be something to look forward to. After like the come down of the wedding and the honeymoon. And what was it you said? Come on, Chelsea. Come on. Where's my wrist taking Chelsea gone? That's what he said. I mean, it didn't really take much, did it? I mean, and then Chelsea <laughs> was like, oh, fuck me. Come on, let's go do it then. And then, and then, and then, may I add, we went to see it. We really liked it. I don't know why we're justifying this. Actually, we saw it was, three. We saw three, but we really liked it. We thought it was the right stage the next step for our you then family shit yourself. i didn't shit myself it was kind of like oh well do you know what if we don't want to, if we don't go for it we don't go for it it's just is what it is um and we'll look after the wedding and then i was at work again and i get a message off chelsea saying i think we should go for the house problem is as soon as i see something and i get like my heart attached to it no i i agree i agree you know i was like oh you know. Anyway, so we went for it. 
and, and we got, we got it. accepted. And we'll move in three weeks. We've signed the agreement. We obviously handed in the notice here because we only had to give a month. So we did that last week. And we're moving in three weeks. It's good for our family. Oh my god. It's the right move for our family. So you know I keep saying like I can't wait to have like a bigger family home. I can't wait to host. I can't wait for there to be more space when like Ian's family come and stay. Stuff like that. Well it's happening. It's happening. And I'm taking you guys on the entire journey. Aren't you lucky? So it's still a new build. I think it's like 18 months old. It's a three bed. We've got a two bed now. But like the a lounge very, is... A very, very small two it's bed. It's cosy. But um, the lounge is bigger. There's like a kitchen dining area. Um, do you know what my favourite room in the entire house is? Guys, it's got a utility room. I'm not even joking. I'm not shitting you. It's got a utility room with a door on it and everything. A big not, utility room. Quite not, big. Not even like an area. It's a room that I can put all... I can put my shit soap bowl in there. I can put the aera in there, which is currently in our bedroom. Like, wow. Amazing. And it's got an ensuite in mm -hmm. the master bedroom. The master. The master bedroom is a slightly smaller than our one, but the second bedroom is actually bigger than the master bedroom. And mm. then you've obviously got a third bedroom and a family bathroom oh my god and it's got obviously garden driveway and a garage we have storage people <laughs> we have storage um so basically and it's in a great plot it is it's where it's situated great. yeah we really like it where it's situated so so it's in yeah. a great plot but we've lost the plot no we haven't we are a little bit mental but i am so excited Joseph Ladle. so that my friends, is our news. Um, and I'm so pleased that now, like, we've told you because I can talk about it so much more now because it's obviously been on my mind for, well, not that long, only a couple of bloody weeks, but I haven't been able to sell you anything. Consumes you, doesn't it, Josh? Yeah, then it just can't bloody sleep. Well, it sleep. consumes you. Consumes. Yeah, you. you concerns. Consumes. Consumes. Are you all right? No, I'm not. Oh, my <laughs> God. Consumes you. Um... Whereas you just sleep peacefully, not. With, Chelsea, will, with Chelsea's no one of them people the who will wake up at like two o'clock in the morning thinking about, thinking about it, and googling then, measurements of yeah, fucking wardrobes. literally that person. And then when it's acceptable, she'll wake me up at like. Ian came in the room yesterday, and he was like, "I was really like when I wasn't feeling well, and he, I was gonna try and nap. I was on my phone, and he couldn't even see what was on my phone, and he just went stop." looking at the floor plan and go to sleep i was like how did you know but yeah we're um, gonna stay in this one for a while because there's enough room for us to stay in there for a while you know for as long as the landlords will have us yeah absolutely um hopefully the lovely landlords as nice as the ones that we've had here we're gonna take you on the packing journey the new house tour the unpacking journey then we've got the exciting thing of like I say redoing all the all the rooms. I'm not gonna like redo them because I like our stuff here and and I we don't have any money to like full on refurnish everything. But there might be like a few little tweaks and changes and little like touches, you know, which will be really cute. I can't believe it. Did you guess? Did you guess? Let us know in the comments if you guessed. Right, I'm gonna eat my buttons and carry on celebrating. Have you had a nice lunch with Auntie Chris? Hang on a minute. <laughs> Auntie Chris? I've got problems. So, Chris, can you believe it, has asked me to be... Can you even read that or is that backwards? I don't know. <gasps> you can see it. Best woman! Oh my god. Slowly reconsidering. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't know why you considered it in the first place. This is wild. Out of options. It's it's me and you know you know you know the bottom of the it's barrel. Not just me. You know they say the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. You really what I've discovered it? is that if you lift the barrel, there is a small space underneath it. 
There's a lot of mould and gunk, and then there's you. <laughs> it says a lot about you and your friends, all right? This was absolutely nothing to do with Chris and everything to do with Rosie, so I had a card. Incredible. It gets a bit soppy. And then <laughs> all of this. Look, I've got my own hip flask. How cool is that? And then Chelsea Best Woman which I shall be wearing on the special day. I can't believe it. What a lucky little cookie. I accept. Sorry, has spring finally sprung? Goldie, we would like to introduce you to something called the sun. Just I haven't it seen in. it yet in your life. This is the first time you've seen it. She has, but she was just too young. It was <laughs> boiling when she was born, do you remember? Yeah. Um, what a bloody lovely day. We've come to Earthen Woods, which is just so lovely and very easy to get lost, but that's fine. I've just realised I need a wee. We've only oh. just started. I need a wee already. Oh. I did go before we left as well. Well, you'll be squatting over there somewhere. <laughs> it's too busy to be squatting. Tough. Um, but yeah, no, we've, we've come out for a lovely fresh walk. Goldie is an absolute mood in her carrier, facing forward. Just going to do your back in. Um, I didn't really film anything else yesterday. We had such a lovely time catching up with our friends, and yeah, it's an absolute honour to be Chris's best woman um, at his wedding next year. So well chuffed with that. Also, I forgot to say and forgot to film something so fucking funny happened at lunch yesterday and I really wish yeah I really wish we got it on camera basically we were just like chilling chatting and Goldie was in her high chair and getting a bit restless and I'm like I'm feeling like an official mum now because I'm taking snacks out with me and I gave her like some strips of pancake that I'd made at home and um, Chris just like nabbed a bit of the pancake and tried it, just like being cheeky little shit that he is. Started chewing it, I let him chew it for a little bit and then I said to him, Chris, that's, that's been made of my breast milk, babe. <laughs> His face was an absolute joy to watch. It was very, very amusing. So that's what, that's what happens when you take my babe's snacks. It's nicer, people should cook them all. <laughs> More titty milk. milk yeah. It's very sweet, it's isn't nice it? Nice and sweet. Um, oh, all the goodness, isn't it, Goldie? All the goodness, yeah. So that was funny, I just had to tell you that little story. Um, but yeah, we had a lovely, lovely time. And yeah, it's Sunday, we're enjoying a nice family walk. I'm going to sign off this video now because I feel like next week. Oh, I'm so pleased I told you guys all about the house move now because next week is basically going to be. All systems go because it's three weeks yesterday that we are moving um, and like I said before we'll take you on this journey as as much as we humanly can look at all trees um, look at all trees I don't know why like I can't do are, Ian's like... accent I just I just go Yorkshire I'm Lancashire and you're Lancashire I which can't is Lancashire. highly highly offensive I know I'm ever so sorry Let's show them the trees. You know what it looks like? It looks like Robin Hood. Look. You know with um, Kevin Costner in? It's just stunning. Oh, I cannot. This is like my favourite thing to do. How lucky are we that this is like on our doorstep as well? Anyway, I'm going to bask in the glory of this day and this walk. Try not to piss myself try and push through without squatting in the woods and thank you so much for watching another video really hope you're enjoying them we are loving these aren't we we very um, much are we actually are aren't we we actually quite enjoy doing them I'm well really not very much them. enjoy doing them um well you um, i'm just part of it yeah <laughs> i'm just there long 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 may they continue um so thank you for your support please subscribe no, I say every time, but you've got to. It's just, it's literally part of the YouTube language, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we really appreciate all the comments and all the love and hope that, yeah, we can spread the joy further. Say bye, Goldie. Bye-bye. Goldie, say bye-bye. <laughs> Ta-da, love. <laughs>
Oh my god. She's a disgrace. Tell mummy that she's a disgrace. Look at her looking around, see if anyone's looking. Oh my god. I need to see some evidence of that, please. I think it just splashed. We have a splasher.